the Marriott Hotel. I'm not staying there. No, not staying at the Marriott. Unfortunately, a little bit out of my price range. But we can see my hotel from here. And I'm sure it will be a contrast. You might have heard of them from the airplanes. You heard of EasyJet. Now we're going to do an Easy Hotel. So Easy Hotel, South Kensington. doesn't seem to be the right room. I am pretty sure they said two or three. Plus it wouldn't open, would it? Mm, back downstairs, I think. Okay, let's let's try this again. Take two. Well. Wow. There's really not much to see here, is there? So I've literally got a bed. I've got a television. I've got a lot of branding. I've got a bathroom that is also kind of orange. We'll show ahead. Wow, this is going to be the shortest. This is going to be the shortest video I've ever done. Wow. Well, at least I got the memo about the orange. Okay, well, this is eventful already. So, uh, yeah, first of all, straight in through the door. I think there must be a new guy uh, on reception um, being taught the ropes by somebody who was pretty damn impatient. You know, you know when your training's not going well, when your supervisor or your trainer uh, takes the mouse out of your hand and does it herself. So that hasn't, that's not the best start for him. I'm sure he'll get it. Best of luck to him. And then I get given a key for room 203 and as you've seen I've opened the door to see a Timberland bag on the bed some red shoes on the ground and um, a, the smell of lynx deodorant wafting out so on the one hand that's kind of funny you know you know getting given, given keys to somebody else's room but on the other hand, I could have walked in on anything there. I could have walked in on a dude, I could have walked worse, I could have walked in on a lady. Um, that would have scared her. That wouldn't have been that wouldn't have been cool. Well, that's the first time that's happened, I suppose. Was it inevitable? I don't know, it's never happened to me before. Well, what what is there to say? I suppose I could do the bed test. It's actually kind of bouncy, but if I've learned anything with the bed tests now, you don't really mean anything. So, Ooh, they are incredibly flat. So, two pillows are probably the equivalent of one bad pillow. So, we will probably have to 
sort something out with the other ones. Bump them up. Okay, so I kind of don't want to stay here all night. Um, I am meeting my friend in King's Cross later and we're going to go watch a film. I know we've been to King's Cross already a couple of times and we've walked around, but you never know, we might see something different. I'll head up a little earlier than planned. I think I'm meeting him for about eight, but better than staying here. All right, one quick thing I've noticed, or two quick things I've noticed. Um, there's no remote for that television, so I guess I'm going to have to talk to reception about it. And they haven't given me a password um, for the Wi-Fi, so I'm going to have to ask for that too. But I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling I'm going to have to pay for both. Because it's easy jet, it's easy hotel, you pay for the extras. Oh yeah, there's no lift either. Um, so I'm on the third floor, obviously many flights of stairs, no lift, heavier bag, but there must be people in worse condition than me, you know, needing to get to their rooms. They can't all go on the ground floor. So accessibility wise, it's not great. And no kettle, no kettle. I've just been in Sainsbury's. I've just bought myself a porridge for breakfast because I thought the bit minimum they would have is some boiling water. They don't have boiling water. Oh, I'm gonna have to wait to get to work to find a kettle to heat this up. Wow, 35 quid. When you think of last week, and I paid 38 quid for that, so I've had three quid more. I had a fridge and kettle. Bigger room. A window. Goes to show, right? This might be a lesson to me. I'm always talking about I don't need much and whatever, as long as it's a bed, as long as I've got a roof, it's fine. But maybe that's not the case. Maybe you still need to get your money's worth. I think the Wi-Fi might tip that. Shouldn't have to pay extra for Wi-Fi. I'll be honest. I freaking hate it. Um, I did find out about the Wi-Fi though, because I've booked through Hotels.com and I've got a silver membership. Um, it looks like I've got free Wi-Fi, so I've got the code now. And the TV remote was an oversight. There should have been a TV remote there, and there wasn't. So I can pick one of those up when I get back if I want it. But yeah, reception party. Do you hear that music? It's pretty loud. A lot of partying going on, 24 hour reception, 24 hour party. I'm not meeting my pal for like another hour and a half, but what am I going to do, stare at some orange balls? Like, no, I'll, I'll wander around and hopefully I'll see something, something interesting. And if I don't, well, I'll just find, I'll just find a quiet spot. Uh, I've downloaded my book onto my Kindle app on this phone. So that's what I'll do. Look longingly at the Marriott, but you know what? It could be any hotel, any other hotel. I think it's a really impressive station. So anyway, this is sort of King's Cross Square. And those are COVID suites over there.
Hodžile Ofela. Yard. Massive. I wonder how long that's going to take. It's coming up to Pancras, to Pancras Square. It's easy for me to see. And it looks like Google will have an office here. Not many people working late. Good for you, Google. Probably alright in the day, come out here, grab a sandwich, buy some water. A lovely Leon there. Oh, kimchi place. Which I'm sure is expensive but delicious. Oh, and there's another illumination in the distance. Which, of course, we are drawn to. That is some imagery I can get behind. Oh, Cafe Bao. I didn't even know the power. It's even better than I thought. Pizza Bao Slice. Coconut Bao Loaf. Now I'm noticing now that you can't see the menu. Well, classic bowl, five pound fifty. Oh, we've been here before. So when I met my pal Manos previously, I met him here, and they had the water features, but it didn't have that illuminated structure when we were here last. So maybe there is reason to revisit these places to see how things evolve and see, see how things change. I think last time I came past, just for here, there was a guy having a fight with the police. Oh, it's quite colourful. This is a nice space. They've done something with the water too. This is a delight. I'm an absolute sucker for lights. in the water change too. Brilliant. Brilliant. There's some rogue ones in there. Some of them just want to do their own thing. Some of them are green, some of them are red, some of them are white. Majority are blue. So what am I listening to right now? Royal Republic. I'm listening to some music for a change. Just got four months free on the Apple app. Absolutely terrible platform, but four months is four months. So listening to Royal Republic, for that turn style. What will I listen to on the way home? Maybe Barack Obama's audiobook on Audible. Just about to head into the cinema. Gonna watch Death on the Nile. Love a bit of Poirot. There you go. Going into the Everyman. So it's a good little recce actually because 
they just, well I say just, they haven't long opened an everyman in Cardiff, so if I like what I see, who knows? Walking back from the cinema, more like bored to death on the Nile. Yeah, it wasn't very good. Kind of plodding. Not very surprising. Uh, but it was nice to get the origin story of Poirot's moustache. It's a bit strange, but I guess that's what we'll remember about it. Nothing in it to get the little grey cells working at all. So not recommended. Give it a miss. If it's on, on a Sunday afternoon, on terrestrial television, and you have a cup of tea and some cake, yeah, why not? Why not? But don't go out of your way, don't, don't, don't go to the cinema, don't pay for it. Not worth it. No, I don't think I'm gonna give them product placement. That was it, that was the night. Um, I slept pretty well, actually. Um, I think what we've discovered over the last few weeks is that if a room doesn't have a window, I sleep quite well. So, although for many people it's a negative, and it still is a negative, it's nice to be able to see where you are, but for me, I think it's a, I think it's a benefit to my sleep. So, overall thoughts on the room. I think it's very much, you get what you pay for. But because I paid 38 quid last week, the difference in three pounds between the two properties is is really quite is really quite big. I really miss not having a kettle in the room. Anyway, should we just should we, what's what's the good thing? Good thing are so the good things are that I slept well. The bed was fairly comfortable, and um, that stack of pillows seemed to, seemed to do the trick. So negative about the room itself um, it's not cool that I have to track down a remote control if I wanted one that I have to ask about Wi-Fi um, it's obviously a very cramped room if there were two people staying here we would just be we would just be on each other all the time in each other's way um, the bathroom's quite small but quite clean um, it does feel a little bit like what I, what I imagine a cabin on a ship being. So when you think back to the snooze box, this room is actually smaller than that because from what I remember anyway, the bathroom was bigger in the snooze box. And you obviously had that upper, upper bunk as well that gave a little bit of an impression of size. But So I think if you're staying in one of these, I think it's very much a, you arrive at 10, you sleep, you get up, you leave. You, you're buying, you're spending money on the bed. It's certainly not an experience, not a good experience anyway. Yeah, we covered, we, 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 we covered the, the wrong key issue earlier on. That's pretty weird. I could have really freaked somebody out. It's just so orange. Just so very orange. And I thought I liked orange. Would I stay here again? Well, I don't want to. Who knows? Maybe some of the branches. The branches are nicer, but I doubt it. This is Cromwell Road. And I guess back in the day, after was Hitchcock lived here. And as I walk past pottery class. So I'd wrap this up on the way to the bus. Terrible hotel. So we had a sleep. Terrible hotel. Easy hotel. South Kensington. Hopefully won't go back. Uh, as far as the walk went, we wandered around and had a little explore of King's Cross a little bit, which was nice. Seems like a really nice area. Yeah, I quite I quite like it. It's, uh, yeah, I'm a sucker for lights, obviously, but yeah, had a nice vibe about it. And then stuff, so what did I do? So obviously I watched that Poirot film, which was rubbish. 
uh, listen to some music, touched upon that. Um, on the bus, what am I going to watch? I think I might watch a show called Raising Dion. I watched the first one and it was so okay. So I'll watch, I'll watch a couple more, see where it goes and decide whether I'm going to commit. I can't remember where I am next week, but I've got a feeling I'm in a place that I haven't been before. So hopefully we'll see some new stuff. Uh, but that's it. Thanks everyone. Take care. And I will see you next week. Bye bye.